Hello, fellow birders. My name is Dennis Kania. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at Lincoln Sparrow and Swamp Sparrow in fall plumage. On the DuPage Birding Club Education Channel, we'll be discussing all things bird related. And as I mentioned, today we'll be taking a closer look at Lincoln's and Swamp Sparrows in fall plumage. So at first glance, you wouldn't expect that there'd be much confusion between these two species. Uh, swamp Sparrow is very clean looking underneath. It does have a lot of rufous in the wing. And Lincoln Sparrow, com in comparison, has really a lot of streaking on the upper parts, the under parts, and even in the crown, there's quite a bit of streaking. And it's all very fine, crisp streaking. But we'll take a little closer look at what happens in the fall. Uh, here are breeding rec or records for uh, both species that have been collected out at Fermilab over the last 33 years. You can see that Lincoln Sparrow is a migrant versus the Swamp Sparrow that's around uh, all year. So Lincoln Sparrow uh, starts showing up mid-April and is with us through um, all of May in spring migration. And then they return in the fall starting basically in the beginning of September. And they're with us through September and October and even into November a bit. And on rare occasions, we do have individuals showing up in December on uh, Christmas counts. Swamp Sparrow, on the other hand, is with us all year. Um, the breeding population uh, starts to increase in uh, mid-March and is with us through that whole breeding season and well into uh, the fall. Their numbers do decrease quite a bit uh, in December, January, and February, but they are with us uh, throughout the year. So here's a closer look at Swamp Sparrow, and we can see some of the characteristic uh, features of this species. At first glance, when you see this bird shooting off, you'll see that it just seems to look very dark compared to other sparrows. And so that in itself can be a bit of a clue. But some of the other features, and when we do take a closer look when it pops up, you'll see that uh, there is that rufous in the wing. You can see quite a bit of rufous here in the coverts, and then even in the edges of the uh, tertials, the secondaries and primaries all have a good edge of rufous here. So that makes the whole wing look very, very rufousy. Uh, they should be typically very clean underneath, uh, maybe some very diffuse streaking, and even the chance that you might see a, a bit of a breast spot. The throat itself should be very, very white. Uh, you will have a very minor malar stripe. The submustachial area is generally white in this uh, plumage. And you can see that the crown is rather dark. Uh, there is some slight streaking in here. And you know, sometimes you can even catch the fact that there is a median crown stripe. The face is very, very gray. Uh, the nape is gray and unstreaked. And all of those features would lead you to believe that you're looking at a swamp sparrow. In comparison, if we look at Lincoln sparrows in good plumage, you'll see that again, it has a very gray face. So that, you know, a comparison that might be a little bit confusing, but it does have an eye ring that is somewhat buffy. And you can see definitely that there's buff in the submustachial area. Uh, there is a mustachial stripe. The malar is a bit weaker. Um, and if you get the right angle, you can see on the throat there are actually flecks of uh, dark in that white throat. So it's not a clean white throat. The streaking on the breast and in the flanks is all very crisp and fine. They're very fine streaks. Um, unlike what we were seeing on any kind of swamp sparrow. And if you look across the breast here, there is a wash of buff there as well. You see that quite clearly in this um, photograph as well, all that buff in these areas. But again, that streaking is very distinctive. It's very fine streaking and very crisp streaking. And it also has a gray nape, uh, but you can see that there is fine streaking in that nape. So it's not a clean nape like what we were seeing on swamp sparrow. There's no way anywhere near as much rufous in the wing as what we were seeing on um, Swamp Sparrow. But we do run into problems in the fall when we start getting um, Swamp Sparrows that are going to start showing a little bit of rufous, or um, I'm sorry, buff in the submustachial area. And you will even get a bit of a wash across the breast. And you can see it's quite um, buffy or dingy here in the uh, in the flanks as well. And you do see streaks running down through this bird. But they're very diffuse streaking. Um, and it's not anywhere near as clean looking as what we see on the Lincoln Sparrow. Plus the, the, the ground color or the base color underneath the streaking on Swamp Sparrows is going to tend to look grayer and dirtier, dingier looking than what you would see on Lincoln Sparrow. 
Uh, as an example here, you can see on this Lincoln Sparrow, you can see it just looks very white and clean here. And you get a nice contrast with those crisp streaks that are running through the flanks and the upper breast. But again, you do see all that buff here. You do see buff in the submustachio. And so that's where you start to get a bit of confusion between these two species. Uh, if you look at the nape, once again, you can see it's grayish here. It is also grayish here. And although this twig is kind of in the way, you can kind of catch the fact right in the very back here, you can see that there's a little bit of streaking. There are a lot of features that would um, uh, give you reason to pause and take a double look at these species. And the one thing that you don't want to fall into a trap of, you know, just assuming that you're looking at swamp sparrows. Um, you do want to take that closer look and make sure that you're, you're not overlooking a, uh, a Lincoln sparrow. So there are the fe all the features that I mentioned earlier are still here. You, know, you still have the very rufous wing, but you do have all the streaking. And so that's um, where we begin to have problems. And the fact that you know, we are getting more buff in this individual. So these two species can share some common characteristics in the fall, uh, such as that streaking and the buff washes across the buff, uh, across the breast and uh, in the submustachial area. And they both do have that very grayish looking face. But remember, swamp sparrow does have a lot of rufous in the wing, and the throat should be all white. And any streaking on the bird is not anywhere near as crisp and fine as what we see on Lincoln sparrows. Lincoln sparrows will have that very crisp, fine streaking above and below. And the streaking on the breast will be much more distinctive than swamp sparrow. There'll be a faint buff eye ring and small markings on the white throat. And again, I mentioned, uh, as I mentioned before, streaking in the gray nape. So there's much more confusion between these two species than you might expect. So don't fall victim to casual observations. Always do take that closer look. So thanks for taking the time to view this video. Hopefully you'll, we've given you some bird food for thought. And I hope you'll join us again in the future as we explore all things bird related.